All right, folks, I have something very special for you today. This right here is the Elvis unit. This is the ambulance that carried Elvis away on the day he passed away, it took him from Graceland to the hospital. This ambulance, by the time you see this, it's already being shown live at the Tiger Man Museum in Memphis. So go check it out. Billy Stallings, the spa guy, the man responsible for bringing this ambulance back into the public eye and putting it into the museum. And I got a chance to interview him as he was uh, as he was cleaning it up. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, go check out Tiger Man Museum in Memphis. So this right here, this red, is just the uh, the white has faded off of it, and that's right. that primer. That's the original base coat. And uh, there's a brush over there, Logan, if you don't mind then we could probably get some of the smaller stuff. So would that be from a guy using his hand to close the door in the same place all the time? Yeah. The acid from his hand? Yeah, absolutely. And if you notice, there's a GMC symbol on this side, there's a Chevy symbol on the other side, which is exactly what Mac told me I would find. How, how did that happen, you think? Uh, a wreck is okay. what I would think. Yep. So this, uh, there's a... A crinkle in the door over here. Yeah. Do we have yeah. any idea what's going on with that? I don't. I figure it was purchased like that. Gotcha. Uh, you know, that was part of it. Because um, these things got beat up a lot. They were strong though, 454 yeah. in it, huh? Yeah, this thing, I mean, we can't push it. The three of us can't move it. It's <laughs> crazy. And I push vehicles all the time, you right. know. I literally cannot budge this thing. I mean, you move hot tubs. Move. And they don't I even have wheels on them. Yeah. <laughs> I could not physically move it. And the box on this front is in great shape. This part of it, the ambulance part of it. Yeah. The front is what's taking beating. So, um, what would have been here? I don't and, think and up anything here. was there. That had a number six. They had it where they could slide a six or a two. When this was Elvis's ambulance, there was a number six. I have a photo where you can see the six. And so, of course, I'll put a six back there. Um, I measured it so I could put a six back, you know, have one made. So, so chances are these windows or original yeah i would think so and if you look at i'm gonna have photos at the museum showing this vehicle that day and if you look at the photos you'll see you'll see those side windows so how long would this ambulance have been in service they sold it in 1991 so it would have run it started in 75 he is a 75 model it was used with him in 77 and it would have stayed in service until roughly, um, they told me that it stayed in service for about 10 years as a regular ambulance. Okay. So that would have been 85. And then it was a backup unit from 85 until it ended up being auctioned. Oh, and wow. the guy, by the way, that, that's, that bought it and saved it at the auction, if he hadn't have gotten it, it would have been crushed and lost forever. If he hadn't have gotten it, it would have been crushed and lost forever. The other people that were bidding that day was one company, and that one company scrapped vehicles. They didn't, they didn't buy them to fix, they bought them to scrap. So at the auction, was it known that this was the unit? Yes, yes. What happened was, he was he's a Memphis City cop. Up and I looked at that YouTube thing and I thought, well, what's this guy keep showing up here for? There's got to be something. So she said, I sat down and opened YouTube up and I punched your thing in and pulled it up and started watching your videos. And I understand now what you're doing and what you're, why. And uh, here's her name, here's her address, here's her phone number. And boy, we hightailed it over there. <laughs> and I have a video on YouTube of that day of us discovering that. 